All right, so this next card I'm pretty excited about. It is going to be kind of summer themed. So, yeah. so I have this I have this idea. So we're gonna we're gonna see how it plays out because I'm, I kind of half designed it in my head. So we might have to add some other elements if it doesn't work out. So the very first thing I'm gonna have you do is do a quick little watercolor um, or color if you have colored pencils or if you have markers. If you don't have any of those things, you can use a literal pencil to color in the little mouse. And then um, you can use an ink pad with a paint. If you have a water-based ink pad, you can squish it on a piece of plastic with a little paintbrush and um, use some watercolor or a little paintbrush with a little bit of water on it to watercolor your little popsicle. I know that's, not, that's kind of a lot of information, but for those of you that have a dye-based ink pad, you're like, oh yes, Ellie, I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm just gonna color my little mouse here. Oh, kind of this gray. I'm gonna leave his little stomach there white at the moment and the inside of his ears are gonna be white. Oh, apparently I had some blue on my paintbrush last. That's kind of fun, so it's kind of a blue gray. I'm gonna go with it especially because my paper here is blue, so that might actually end up looking all right. Okay, get these little feet. Then I'm gonna do kind of a light pink stomach here. We'll see if my paintbrush will give me light pink or if it'll be purple. Oh, it will be light pink. Oh, it's a little more purple now, but that's okay. All right. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint my um, popsicle. Leave the popsicle stick brown. And then I'm gonna, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do my popsicle color. Oh, what's a delicious flavor? Grape? No. Strawberry. All right. There we have it. Now I'm going to clean off my paintbrush a little bit, so there's basically no color on it. And then I'm going to pick up some of this color again that's in the paintbrush. The ink here is waterproof, so that's not going to bleed, but I want my popsicle to look like it's going to be kind of starting to melt a little bit. So by having a clean paintbrush, when I take my ink up to the top, I'm actually um, having less color on my paintbrush and it looks like your um, little popsicle starting to melt, kind of giving an interesting effect. I don't know if you guys can see that there. And then my little pink stomach for the little mouse ear and the little pink ear. All right, so now I know this is the least fun part. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fussy cut the little mousey. Da -da -da. Fussy cut just means to cut out um, along the black lines or along the little, this little along the little lines as close as you would like to go that you feel is fussy. Now. I never try to cut out the little tail because it is the most annoying thing ever. I always just recommend you find any similar size um, and color of pen as the ink here of the little mouse and then just drawing in the little tail later. And I'm gonna have to draw actually in the little head just a little bit because I'm realizing that his little face here, cut that off just a little bit. I'm gonna have to go back in later and do that. I'm realizing right now I don't have a pen in front of me that is the right size, so I have to go get one from the other room. At the very end, I'll probably pause it and go do that. Or I'll forget. Don't forget to add the tail in at the very end. Okay. So now we've cut out the little popsicle stick. Oh, oh my gosh, so precious. I'm going to put a little tiny dab of glue on the back side of his little hand. Now on the back side, not on the front, because I want him to look like he's holding the little popsicle stick. Mm, I guess I could do it on the front, but it's gonna be very difficult to do. So I'm gonna do it on the back because I think that'll be okay. Otherwise, trying to stick that between the two little arms, I'm gonna end up cutting something. It's not gonna go well. While we let that dry, set that to the side. We are going to start working on the clouds. So again, this is going to be kind of a fussy cut situation. So we're going to fussy cut all the clouds. I know it's so fussy to cut all of those off, but we could like hang out together while we're fussy cutting our little clouds. 
I hope you're having a great day. Oh, I'm being a little bit quick with my cutting here because I know sometimes I'm kind of, I kind of rush just a little bit and then I end up messing up. And so I can already tell that I'm getting some not so perfect edges, like right here. Did you see? I accidentally cut just a little bit short. Yikes. Oh well. So you should have four large clouds and three little clouds. All of your clouds are stamped out much better than my clouds are, so I'm cutting out the little fuzziness. So sometimes if you don't stamp perfectly, you get kind of a, a fuzziness instead of a perfect little, a nice clean impression. If that ever happens, you can do what I'm doing right now, which is fussy cutting, and then you can just cut that off. Yay! You don't have to worry about it anymore. Suddenly, it's perfect. But then you have to be really good and clean with your scissor lines because, you know, that's what's going to be showing on your paper. So, but you're going to see what I'm talking about when we go lay our clouds in on our paper. All right. Oh my gosh, I still have three left. It's all right. It's more than halfway done. We're over halfway there, friends. I don't know about you, but now the halfway there song is Bon Jovi. Oh, we're halfway there. Yeah, you heard me sing. We're singing today, you guys. All right. And we are almost done. Apparently, most of this video is me fussy cutting. Fussy cutting little clouds. I guess I could have cut them out ahead of time, but we cut them out together, so. Maybe you guys didn't. Maybe you had someone else in your life cut them. Like, hey friends, do you like to fussy cut? Please cut these. All right, we've cut all of our little clouds out. That was seven, three, six, seven. Oh my gosh. All right, we got one more thing we're gonna fussy cut and that's a little rainbow. I did not give everyone fold clouds. Um, that I did that on purpose. We're not gonna cut out the clouds, but you are going to cut out about an eighth of an inch down um, below the rainbow, and then you are gonna cut out the rainbow. Um, the reason, and I'm going to recommend that you cut right along that nice edge of the um, the blue there in the rainbow so that the pink isn't showing through if you can. But we are cutting again a little bit of the clouds out on the bottom. Just a tiny little bit so that we can tuck it behind some of the other clouds that we just fussy cut. Okay, so this is what we're going to end up with our rainbow. Alright, and then we have all our little clouds. Okay, now we can start putting our card together. but. So you could leave it just like this and then put your little clouds on. And that would be kind of fun. But that would be boring. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do, and this is just an idea, is that we're actually going to cut little wavy lines like this. If you do not feel comfortable, take flip it over, draw with um, a pencil, just kind of draw some fun little wiggly lines, and then cut them out. So we're going to do one. Now make sure you remember where this is going to go. And you don't want to make them too weird because it's kind of like a windy day. That's kind of my thought. And you could even do very similar shapes to what I'm doing. So you could just even watch and see what I'm going to do. Because I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe it's not very good. <laughs> Maybe it's fun. Alright. This is actually kind of fun. I agree, it was fun. It was worth it. Oh, is this what I did here? Oh, I did this. Okay. Alright, we're going to see how this plays out here. So what I want to do is I want to give it some space in between each one. So this one right here, I'm definitely going to have to cut this smaller. So, we're going to lay this out here. So the idea here is that we want a little bit of space, about an eighth of an inch between each piece. Okay. So as we lay our pieces down, you'll notice that what will happen is that you'll get some overlap like this. We can go with the overlap and just paste it on itself. I think I'm going to do that rather than try to talk you guys through how to fix it because I know how to fix it. You just go in and you just trim those pieces down to complete the eighth of an inch. But we're going to go with the little bit of a weirdness and the texture because I want to teach you guys that you can keep this and still make it look cool. All right, so to finish this kind of technique off, we're going to get a little bit more of a color, a little bit of a watercolor. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my watercolor palette and I'm going to do a little bit of some dark color. So I'm going to pick 
So we have our watercolors here. So you can pick a light blue. Okay, so you get this kind of tone on tone. So we're all working kind of the light blue kind of colors. If you don't have a light blue, you can take your blue and white and mix and then make that light blue color. Okay, so I'm gonna test this color on the back side of my paper because I wanna see what the color is gonna look like. Oh, actually that's not so bad. Very, very subtle. That's what we're going for here. Okay, I'm gonna dry that off real fast so I can do it on the right side. I just wanted to test my color. Hopefully you had a similar experience. You're like, oh yeah, I like my color. If so, wonderful. So on the front side, right along the edge, right along that seam is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint. I'm gonna add an extra little stripe in there. Remember, this is gonna be kind of like wind. Oop. And we're gonna do the same thing here. And I usually just kind of follow the shape of our cuts. We're making this kind of fun and artistic, you guys. We're going with it here. Make sure you lay your pieces down in the right order. When you have your paintbrush here and you kind of fold that edge, again, you might want to be doing this flat on your table. I'm just doing this up close so I can kind of guide you a little bit. You can kind of go in and kind of do these fun little curls. I don't expect you guys to do that, but you can go in and kind of just do these kind of little lines like this. If you've messed up, a lot and you're like oh I really don't like this first off it, just try I bet you can do it um, but you can also take um, your other darker colors and go in and do another shade of color and that will add a third dimension so that's kind of fun too to get that next color you mix the, a little bit of the color you already have that you just were using the light blue and the next color you mix a little bit of those two together to get that next shade down okay that's how you do that so if you're really unhappy with it though, flip all the pieces over and do the back side. Okay. So I have kind of a little bubble here. I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of the curly because I think that's kind of fun. And because I have another little curly right in there, I think that's kind of cool. Okay. I'm gonna leave that as is. I hope you guys are feeling really nice and successful. If you feel totally unsuccessful, please contact me. I'll give you another piece of blue paper to practice and to do it again. I want you guys to be successful. Oh, right. I am so far just totally loving what I'm creating here. Okay, so here we go. So now that I got my watercolors in there, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to paste our pieces in there, making sure to have a little bit of a peekaboo of white every so often. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is we're actually only going to be gluing... Oh, I left my lid off so that on me. <clears throat> Lovely. So we're only going to be gluing along the edge. Like, you know, in a puzzle, you know, you do the edge pieces, just doing the edge, not, <clears throat> not the middle pieces. <clears throat> my goodness, I have a frog in my throat. So now we're going to go up here and we're going to do a consistent border all the way along the first, the top and the sides. So that's quarter inch. Remember, there should be no glue right here in the middle, only along the edge. So now we're going to go into our next piece. Okay. Actually, instead of doing the next two pieces, we're gonna do the last piece along the, oh, no, we can't. Yes, we can. The bottom piece, the bottom edge piece. We're also gonna do that. So then that way, again, we're only gonna be gluing the edges at this point. So none of this middle bit. And we're just making sure to do the left and the right and the bottom. Again, that same quarter of an inch bit of space. So that we know that our frame, our base shape is gonna be correct, all right? So if that's, if that's what you should kind of end up with, there should be no glue here and no glue in here. Glue here, glue right here, okay? And the reason why we're doing this is so we can tuck under our little clouds. Yay, so cute. All right, hopefully I gave you guys enough clouds. I guess we'll find out. All right, now we're gonna go in. We're gonna do it again along the edge right here. And at this point, this is kind of some creative liberty. You can decide how much of the white you wanna show and where you wanna show it. So I think that I'm going to go and have more show right along that edge there. So I get a nice little fun little swirl. I'm making sure that my edge right here is nice and lined up. And I'm not so worried about what happens in there. Okay. And now we're going to do this top one. Same idea. Again, just on the edges. And I'm going to go up. Just a little bit so I can get a nice fun little swirl in there. 
Oh, actually, I decided I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to swirl, swirl towards the top. And I probably would have trimmed a little bit more of that in there just so I get a little bit more of the white. But I think I'm going to leave it because I'm okay with what I ended up with. Actually, I might even pull that to the side just a little bit so you get a little more peekaboo of the white. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the edge. Okay. All right. So now we're going to figure out our pl placement for our little clouds here. And I want to kind of disperse some large and small clouds in here. some of these kind of out a little bit. You can have them all tucked behind clouds. There we go. And then we're going to put a rainbow in here somewhere. Okay, so I've kind of tucked it behind the wind and into a little cloud. Oh my gosh, this is actually turning out way better than I thought it would. I'm going to use my little bit of my glue and just tack down my little clouds there. Tuck in my little rainbow there. Tuck in my little clouds. Stick my clouds in place there. Tuck my cloud in place back behind here. Tuck my cloud in here. And then I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but this cloud here I kind of tucked halfway behind that one, a little swirl. Okay. Oh, and I got another little cloud. I'm going to do the same thing with down here. So I have two little half tucks in. All right. Now that that's all done, now I can glue my swirl. I'm going to glue my swoops in place. So since they're kind of... Some of them I'll leave. I don't have to glue them all down, but some of these ones that were kind of taking up a lot of space there, I can now glue down. Okay, so now we have our summer sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and just do a little triangle cut either side. If you don't feel comfortable doing a triangle cut or you're unhappy with it, you can always cut it straight across. I always like to do the little flag cut. That's what I call this with a little banner cut on the sides. So we see it. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, on this, because our sentiment is going to be pretty long. So I think we're going to have to cut that pretty short. All right. Oh, so cute. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in place. And I want to make sure I have a little bit of a tiny bit of blue on the left and right. And if you don't, you can kind of push that in on the left and right to kind of add just a tiny little bit of dimension. Just like that. Oh, so cute. And then our little mousy guy, we're going to add him on the inside. I just think he's so much fun. Of course, I'm going to go back in now and add the little tail. I'm going to go find a pen. But don't forget to add the tail. Oh, so cute. You guys, this is adorable. Oh, oh my gosh, what a fun idea. Anyways, there we go. I'm going to make some more court cards like this this week. All right, have a fun rest of your day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.